Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Guess what? It's Mardi Gras time. Get ready for some excitement. Well, this is my very first piece to share today. I bought this at Pier 1 last year. So I've had this probably a little under a year. and But I've never shared it with any of you. And I thought I would pull it out now. Isn't this a beautiful, beautiful piece I found? When I saw it, I had to have it, and then it was on a big clearance sale. Originally, it was about $20. I think I paid about $7 for it, because it was over 50% savings. And look at all the beautiful detail work on this. The beautiful feathers, the beautiful, the best part of it is that sign. I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have that for my centerpiece and tablescape. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. It just screams out Mardi Gras. And all the beautiful colors are just gorgeous. Let me know what you think. Look at everything they did. All the beautiful detail work. Everything about this piece I just love. Now, I'm going to show you a bunch of other items that I picked up that were very, very inexpensive. So that is part of what we're going to talk about. Buy, spend some money on at least a couple of key pieces that are gorgeous. This was a beautiful piece, and I wish I could have afforded to buy more at the time I bought this. But like I keep telling you, I don't charge anything for my YouTube channel. I pay cash for everything, and I think it's important not to go into debt. So try to remember when you're out shopping for your YouTube channel, to try to make sure you have the money to buy whatever you're buying. Sometimes you won't be able to join in on challenges because of it, but you aren't going to be in debt. And I miss a lot of challenges because I don't have key pieces. Even with this, I wish I had some beautiful purple dishes. I still do not own or have. But the most important thing is I have this cute, cute piece that I found on a big clearance sale last year and I saved it for this year because I knew last year I didn't do Mardi Gras because I didn't have any pieces. This year I do. Now, I'm going to show you what else I picked up. Very inexpensive at the Dollar Tree. Now, you know I've been mentioning in this video not to go into debt. Well, I know you're going to think, oh my gosh, how much did Grandma spend for this? And it's also handmade from Italy. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've seen? I just loved it. Look at all the beautiful detail work and how beautiful the feathers are. Now, do you want to know how much Grandma spent for this beautiful, beautiful mask for Mardi Gras? Nothing. Free, free, free. Grandma, how could you have got that for free? Have you shared it before? No, I have not shared it before. Well, then how did you get it for free? Guess what? Grandma also borrows things. Now, Grandma doesn't have a lot of money, and I live on a fixed income. But this year, I think I'm going to start borrowing some things from my daughter. My daughter has beautiful things, and she makes pretty good money. She's a nurse. So, look at this beautiful, beautiful piece. Just love all the beautiful colors and detail work. I don't know what she spent, and it wouldn't be very nice of me to ask, since I'm borrowing it. But isn't it beautiful? And I don't even know if she bought it here or because she's been to Europe a couple of times. It was made in Italy. 
but I would assume she bought it somewhere here. But I could be wrong. She does a lot of traveling. But I just wanted to share with you how beautiful it was finished off. Now here is another beautiful mask that she bought. I just love it. So this is another free piece because I didn't buy it. I didn't have it in the past. I borrowed it. Keep in mind, we want to keep this post reasonable to do. And this is why I didn't do one last year because I didn't have any pieces. And I don't know why I didn't ask my daughter if she had anything and could I borrow it. Well, me and my daughter did have a big discussion how I would like to get my channel looking better, but I just don't have the money or the pieces to do it. She said, Mom, I'll loan you some stuff. Don't worry about it. I said, oh, well, you know my ears perked right up. Sounds great to me. Something free I didn't have to spend any money for. And isn't this one so pretty too? And I don't know if you noticed, down here at the bottom had this beautiful black tassel. Now, this could be recreated by a DIY, and after really looking at these carefully, maybe next year to cut down on cost, I might buy a couple of nice masks and some feathers and see if I could do a DIY project like this, or I did get a couple of masks from Dollar Tree, you're gonna see in just a minute, and they had beautiful um, feathers already on them and maybe that's what I should do is just uh, incorporate a couple into a Dollar Tree DIY for a Mardi Gras. So that'll be a next year project. But anyway, just wanted to share with you what we've been borrowing. Here is the third mask that I borrowed from my daughter for Mardi Gras. Look at all the beautiful detail work on this. I'm sure she has spent a lot of money on this one. Can you believe it? Each little point has a bell and a pearl on it and how it all curls back around. Isn't it gorgeous? And look at all these beautiful, beautiful finishes. Well, Hope you enjoyed seeing all the beautiful things that my daughter loaned me to use on my Mardi Gras tablescape and coffee bar I'm going to use this year. Well, let's see what Grandma bought over at Dollar Tree. Now I bought three masks from Dollar Tree as you can see here. This green one's beautiful, finished off, and it did come with feathers already in it for only a dollar. So I could get a piece of doll, doll, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and decorate it up and fix it like the mask that my daughter bought. Now they wouldn't be as nice or as elaborate or beautiful looking, but they might still look good for just a couple dollar project. And this one I thought was really pretty and it just screams out Mardi Gras and it goes so well with the piece that I got from Pier 1 Imports. And here's another one, like the green one, except it's in blue. I really thought this was really some great buys from only $3 from Dollar Tree. What do you think? Don't know if you could find something this nice for so little money. 
Dollar Tree is always a store to go to. Now, we did get some beads also for another $2, $1 each, and multicolor, and there's eight strands in each one of these. Really did enjoy it too. Then I bought two of these little headbands, thought they were as cute as can be, and they were also a dollar a piece. Are they not the cutest things? Now, I'm not quite sure, even though I did buy it, if I'm going to use this or not, we'll see. It's pretty big, and I have a doubled up twice because it's so long. So as you see it, it really is twice this long. So the total of what I spent here, let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars I spent at Dollar Tree and another $7 at Pier 1 Import. Brought this Mardi Gras theme, tablescape, coffee bar, and side table I'm going to decorate. I don't, I'm not using all these pieces on everything. I'm gonna move them around. Plus the three items I borrowed from my daughter. So I have 11 new things to use for my Mardi Gras theme coming up. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy. Until the next video, my awesome friends. Keep in mind, it's time to Mardi Gras. Let's party. Even if it's in partying in our homes by ourselves. Well, I shouldn't say by ourselves. Because we're going to have all our YouTube sisters and YouTube guys partying with us online. This is about as much partying we're going to get to do this year. Hugs and kisses and Grandma Sandy. If you're not already following, consider it and please click that like button. It means a lot to me and my channel. And leave me a comment either way. And remember the best part of this, it was only $15. I didn't charge one thing and ask friends and family. Maybe they have some items you can borrow. Kisses and hugs if you've made it to the very end. Stay out of debt.